with Mike Singer. Hey, Nicola, was there any particular reason you were more aggressive tonight in the first quarter, uh, 24 points and those four dunks uh, to kind of light you guys up early? No. Uh, we just, I don't know, it opens up like that, you know, some some games you, uh, you some games, I don't score the, in the first half and then I score a lot in, in the second half. Some some score some game, it just happens, you know. Um, the, the team was finding me. Uh, I was making shots. Um, just uh, it was a uh, it was a um, it just happened like that, you know. The game I I, I get what the game brings me. Ad Wingy. Nicole, did you ever think that you would have four dunks in a game? And what did you think of your four dunks tonight? I mean, I don't know. Uh, it was uh, Tiger Dunks. You know what's Tiger Dunk? Uh, almost. So it's uh, Fak will find me one time on the on the on the baseline. On the Bob thinks it's funny. Uh, on the on the baseline, out of the bounds. Uh, the rest I don't even remember. Uh, but yeah, just attacking the rim, you know, being aggressive. It's a good, it's a good thing. Brandon Cristal. Since I think uh, our friends from Argentina are going to ask you about Faku, I'll ask about Austin Rivers. How nice is it when he's scoring like that and and can knock down six threes? And you you think that that's something you can see from him consistently? Yeah. And I mean, yeah, he, he, we knew, we knew that he's gonna make a shot. Um, you know, he's he's in the, he's a shooter, he's a three point shooter, so we knew he's gonna make a shot. So, um, especially today's game, he he brought a lot of from from the bench. Um, I think not just not just uh, not just um, what the name shooting wise, yeah, that helped us a lot. But I think he had a couple of assists, couple of steals, couple of rebounds. You know, he was everywhere. So mm, the shot can go uh, fall and not fall, but he was helping us in other uh, other things too. But yeah, six three, six three is uh, he's gonna help us anyways. And he's the only guy on oh, no, a mic. Okay. Alexander Zikic. Nikola, čestitam na još jednom fantastičnom pobjedi. Čini se, uvijek kad pomislimo si nas iznenadio, ti primiš nešto novo, još fantastičnije. 24 pojena je samo prvoj četvrtini i posao ukupno 32, 12, koliko je šest asistencija. Kako si tebi svidjela večerašnja utakmica i velika pobjeda protiv jednog od najboljih timova? Oh, da, da, ja, nek si se stvarno bili sjajni ovaj cijelo zadnjih, ne znam koliko već, zadnjih 25 lip, zadnjih 12 od 13 ili tako nešto, imaju stvarno, stvarno uh, uh, dobro igraju, agresivni su, mladi su, slušaju, Randall nam igra stvarno sjajno, Rose uh, sa, sa klupem uh, donosi neke pojene, ali eto, možda, <laughs> možda smo ih malo iznadili, možda ih je malo ovaj, Nadmorska visina u hotelu prvoj četvrti nipa smo iskoristili to, ali ja to drago mi, uvek svaka pobjeda je stvarno ovaj, u NBA-u nije bitno što ti koga igraš nikako, samo je bitna je pobjeda, jer na kraju se sve računa, tako da nadam se, nadam se da će biti još, još koja do kraja. Mark Kisla. Hey there, um... You and your teammates have fought through a lot of adversity in the uh, this season, uh, through injury and all that. Talk a little bit about your coach being a fighter too, and and how his support and his refusal to to be discouraged helps the team. I mean, I I think that's what what a good coach shows where, where, where that he is a good coach. You know, when he doesn't have the main guys, when 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 he doesn't have the main threat, you know, to motivate some other guys to. Mm, to make a play for someone, just to you know, to build some culture, some brand of basketball that everybody's gonna play in the team. So I think that's that's um, where the good show, a uh, good coach shows up. Mike Singer. Hey Nicola. Um, two days ago, Malone said that this season has been the hardest season he's ever had to coach through, just because of the grind, how compressed the schedule is, all of that. 
ha has this year been more tough on you physically or mentally? Uh, I think it's both. You know, look at the next uh, six games. It's we have two back to backs. You know, it's uh, it's tough. Uh, uh, we as a team. That's why I think the, we as a team needs need need to be really prepared uh, for the season. You know, before the, when everything starts again. So. Mm, it was. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, look at just our team. Look at look the players who get hurt. The, the whole the whole uh, season. I think it's. Um, you know, we don't. We, we don't have some of the best players right now. They're not playing, or they are coming back. You know, so I think um, it's tough. It's uh, it's mental toughness. It's uh, physical toughness uh, that you need to fight through uh, through the season. Joel Rush. Hey, Nicola. Uh, with Coach Malone winning the Western Conference Coach of the Month Award and with you being the uh, leader to win the MVP award, um, how instrumental has he been in your development? My bad. Uh, who? Oh, okay. I mean, uh, the guy gave me the everything, you know, the guy gave me the freedom, the uh, he 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 lead me. He he show me the, the the way, you know. And we we build a great relationship, you know. Not just that he's a coach and he's a I'm player to him. We are friends too. So it's uh, it's more than basketball right now, you know. It's six years, seven years, six years, six years of of some of building something together, you know. And in one moment we just start trusting each other, you know. So it's. I trust him and everything what he doing. Probably he trusts me that whatever I do. All right, Nicola, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Leonardo Torres. Hi, Nicola. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win and the big performance, Nicola. Tonight, Nuggets grabbed 18 rebounds, 18 offensive rebounds, and 64 rebounds overall. This was the key to win tonight. Uh, yeah, I mean, when when you kind of getting stops, and that's when when you're gonna have a opportunity to, to rebound, you know. But 18 rebound offensive rebounds was was uh, was a was, uh, was uh, probably the the shows uh, show up the aggressiveness that we had, you know. Even if we missed the shot, we wanted to get. I think Faku had two, isn't it? Some, yeah, AG. Me, Sap, everybody, everybody contributed, you know. So um, the offensive rebounds is something that I think we are uh, we are last two years or two before two years we were top in the league in second chance points and, and offensive rebounds, you know. So uh, that's something that uh, probably the players to do when they, they come in, in Denver, you know. And whenever we out rebound the opponent, I think we win, we are winning the games. So. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Nicola. We do have you guys on mute.